Today we're building a $10,000 no game pass house in Bloxburg. So we'll be building both the exterior and the interior today. So we are going to tour first and then we'll start building. As you can see, the total value is just a bit less than $10,000. So let's tour this house and I'll go over everything you need to build it and everything that's in this house. So like I said, this house has no game passes, so you don't need any game passes to build this. It's pretty cute. It's pretty simple. It has a nice modern feel. It even feels kind of like tropical too. <laughs> we have like some flowers. Yeah, I think it's cute. So this house house is perfect for any new players, anyone who needs a starter house, or an affordable no game pass house, something quick and easy to build. Yeah, so over here we have this like little overlapping roof thingy, very cute. You have a sneak peek of your kitchen and the dining room, I love this area. And then of course we have our little walkway which will lead up to our front porch, little patio kind of thingy. So let's go inside and check it out. We walk right in to our little entrance area which is like pretty cute and simple. I decided to place the living room here, or like uh kind of a living room <laughs> like i don't think you can consider this a living room but we were on budget ten thousand dollars you can't make an exquisite living room with that you can definitely boost your mood here though you can boost your energy mood so that's good and then you have some beautiful flowers to look at also when you zoom out as you see here very spacious so you can definitely hold some role plays yeah so over here is our kitchen little dining area so we have our little dining table with some chairs we have a nice like modern painting beautiful plant we love plants and then our kitchen is right next door with this beautiful modern window design love it i actually kind of like that like cooking food while you're staring at your window looking at your neighbors although i am completely alone in the server but if you have neighbors you could like watch them while you're cooking food maybe that's entertaining for you while you wait for your pizza to be finished so i didn't place too many appliances basically just the like most affordable ones ones that i typically use actually i don't use coffee makers at all unless i'm making hot chocolate so i do use toasters a lot toast is very good on my stomach so <laughs> we have a counter right here this is where you can cook all of your food and then you get all the ingredients from the fridge of course so if you rebuild this you can feel free to add whatever other appliances you'd like i just gave you some ideas just like the most affordable ones this area is pretty cute nice and spacious this is probably like my favorite area yeah now over here we have this little like hallway that leads to our bedroom and then our bathroom so as you can tell i am really a big fan of this new material that we got this like plaid checkered material yeah so i kind of use that like maybe too much so if you want to change materials you definitely can do that you don't need to use that material i love this giant tapestry thing thought that was really nice and then over here we have our tv so this is where the tv is so instead of having the tv in the living room kind of area because it's kind of small i placed it on our dresser so you could just like sleep well maybe you're not gonna sleep you'd probably like rest instead and as you're resting in bed you can watch tv like look at that isn't that awesome so that that would be really cute and then next to your tv we have our bathroom so this bathroom's like pretty nice we have some more pretty affordable affordable items so basically this build is me showing you how to use affordable items and make them look more luxurious you know what i mean we kind of like detailed the shower you know made it look a bit more fancy nice realistic looking plant yeah so this bathroom's pretty nice it's a two by two bathroom so it's pretty easy to make and it has all the necessary items you need the sink the toilet shower i know a lot of people are gonna be like wait you forgot the sink in your kitchen but no that was intentional because that would have been a lot of more money and this is a budget house so i just placed the sink in the bathroom instead so you just go to the bathroom and use that before you cook your food but yeah that's pretty much what we have so we have the kitchen we have the dining area we have a little living room thingy we have a bedroom a bathroom yeah that's pretty much what this build provides you with so i think it's a really nice like starter house mood boosting station affordable no game pass house yes it is really nice so as always feel free to rebuild this for yourself once again you will need no game passes at all so let me know which room is your favorite mine definitely is the dining room kind of kitchen thingy so we're gonna start building this house right now so i hope you enjoy the building process Process. so let's get started so here is the layout and as you can see game passes are off so you don't need any game passes to build so let's place the walls yeah this is gonna be a nice house so we'll start at the left side we'll start five grids back from the sidewalk we'll place two walls to the right like this these walls are just gonna be colored white and like that's it because they're gonna have like windows so you're not even gonna see the wall but the interior wall color it can be mid gray i love mid gray such a pretty color i'm always using that so once the walls are colored you're gonna copy them because if you copy items after they're colored and then you place them down you save so much money and this is what we need in a budget house so we're gonna place one wall down except this time we're gonna recolor the exterior walls to brown i'm gonna use a custom color this is it if you'd like to use it but you don't need to use it you could use like pine cone linen like whatever you'd like to do i just love this color this is like one of my favorite colors and then i'm going to use the vertical planks material so pretty so i'm going to copy this wood wall and we're going to place three to the right 
just like this. So now we can finish off with the wooden wall. So we can go back up two, four, six, seven times. Then you can go to left by two. I'm gonna pause to like give you guys a chance to place it down if you're gonna rebuild this. Okay, so now go down by one. Pause. <laughs> Awkward silence. Go to left by three. And then you could either finish off with the brown wall or you could use the white wall if you wanna match the side wall with the front wall. So you're just gonna go down two, four, five times, just like this. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, so let's work on the interior walls real quick. So copy the white wall. And basically you are gonna start three grids back from the front white wall like this. So three grids back, you're gonna place two to the right, copy it, and then go back up by two. So this is going to be a bathroom and then place one more down. This is gonna be the kitchen, pretty cute. I have a nice idea for this. So over here is gonna be the entrance area. So if you go back by two over here and place one to the right, then up by two and then one to the right, this is gonna be a hallway. And these two walls right here complete the bedroom and this little like dining area. So we're gonna have the kitchen, dining table area, entrance area with a little like living room kind of thingy over here. Hallway, bedroom, bathroom. Pretty cute, nice starter house kind of thing. Yeah, so we'll get to decorating that in just a few seconds. First, we're gonna need to like obviously finish the house. We're gonna need a roof when it rains. We don't want to flood our house. So we're going to use a flat roof and the slanted roof. Both of these are pretty affordable. So you can start off with the flat roof. Each time we place the roof, you're going to click on automatic placement. So it turns to manual placement. It makes placing things, not just the roof, like everything a lot easier. We're going to start the left side again. See where this corner is. You could place it down on this left corner. Then you're going to go down by one and place it down. Then go to the right by two and place it down. Then you can go up by two and place it down. And then to the right by three and place it down now you're just going to basically outline the entire like house like this so on each corner you're going to place it down so go back up two four five times place it down to left by two place it down in that corner then go down by one and place it down in that corner then go to left by three and then place it down in this corner so it should look like this we're intentionally leaving this like open right here because we're gonna have the slanted roof for a different kind of effect just to like add some more detail. So grab the slanted roof now. This is what the flat roof should look like. And yes, we want it to overlap over here because I just think that's a really cool effect. So the slanted roof, once again, we're gonna click on automatic placement. Make sure it turns to manual placement. Start at this bottom right corner this time. Go up by two to left by three and then go down by two. And you have to do it in that order, otherwise it won't be placed the right way. It'll be all like backwards and sideways. So I'm gonna change grid sizes and I am gonna increase this like a bit, like slightly, maybe two times, three times if you want it to be even cheaper, but I think two is nice. As you see, it is more affordable, so keep that in mind. And it will look like this. It kind of has a nice like tropical feel to it. That's kind of what I was going for because like it is summer. So now we're gonna need to color the roofs. So. We are gonna color them both white. So like the sides are gonna be white. You can honestly skip coloring the roof, like the top part of the roof, because like no one's gonna see that. Like you're only gonna see the sides and like the ceiling. So if you just skip coloring the roof, the top part of the roof, you're gonna save money. No one is gonna know. We're gonna like cheat a little bit. And the ceiling itself, I think it's gonna be white with concrete. That's like such a nice, easy like combo. It's like my go-to. So for the science roof, we're gonna color it like similarly, except the side part is going to need to be that brown again with the vertical planks and the top part of the roof itself is gonna need to be white. So that's pretty much it. I think it's so cute. As of now, <laughs> we'll add more to it. We're just gonna need to grab one pillar though, a plain thin pillar, and we're just gonna basically place this beneath this flat roof like this. So basically you can't place it where this white part is, but you can place it where the concrete is. So place it beneath the concrete area and then just color it white just to like add more detail and to like support the roof so it doesn't like crash down on you while you're sleeping. So now we can basically place the windows and the door. So we're gonna use the uh, modern square windows. They're gonna be placed on this white wall. So they're gonna be colored white. And then you could use like any hue color you'd like, or you like don't even need to recolor it. If you want to, you could use like, I would recommend linen or seashell for like that bright kind of tint. I might not though, just to save some money. But once it's colored, you're gonna copy it again and then you're gonna place one next to it like this. Like we said before, you save money that way. So it should look like this. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so over here, this is the main wall because this is where the entrance front door is gonna be. So we're gonna use the half spear door because this is so affordable, but it's also one of like the most detailed Bloxburg doors. Like look at this, 
so realistic looking i love it i use it way too often i'm sorry we're gonna give it some windows to make it look like a front door so we're using the thin clear windows we're gonna place one on each side like this doesn't that look really cool and they're already colored like white so nice so now we can just add some more detail a bit we could grab some light so you can see a bit like this clear wall lamp this is pretty modern i use these a lot in my like tropical homes so i think this would definitely work for this build we could use linen linen has such a nice like yellow glow i use that often in my like summer builds and then if you want to add even more detail or if you want to role play you could grab a little basic doorbell thingy just for some extra detail it's so small though so this is what the exterior looks like you can even place wall trim just like the flat crown molding right here if you want to add even more but you don't need to do that we could also place a bottom wall trim the short rail molding we'll color it all white and the texture is going to be this really pretty stone thingy i think this is so like tropical that's pretty much it so this is like what the exterior is going to look like we're just gonna need to place a floor like a little walkway so just grab the floor once again we're on manual placement basically you could start at the corner of this wall go down by one to the right by one and then down by three to the right by one up by three to the right by one and then up by one again just a little like walkway thing and then you could just retexture it to concrete then if you'd like to you could place some little pieces of like grass around because these are so cheap yeah really affordable maybe like some plants too maybe even a flower because you guys know i love flowers i need to place these that's cute we could always come back and place more but like i think the exterior is pretty good for now we can work on the interior place the floor and everything so let's go do that now so let's start right here this left corner go back up by one to left by two back up by three back up by two to the right by three back up by one to the right by two down two four six seven times there we go so what do we want to texture this wood like a wood maybe planks like the horizontal planks maybe this time we'll use like one of the browns they have like pine cone i like this brown a lot so we could use this kind of matches the exterior i like that okay so let's work on like the entrance area first actually you know what let me show you my like planned layout for this so this is what i have planned you know what it's like not terrible because if you've watched my videos in the past i literally never have anything planned out for my interiors i just kind of like come up with it as i go this one you know i have some more items i'd say it's good enough we'll add on to it we'll make it look very luxurious first off let's grab that little chair that i had the simple armchair yeah we low-key could just place that over here like it is okay in the corner like this like that is fine hopefully because over here we're gonna need like the door frame so just grab the plain door frame and place that there so yeah the chair is not like in the way of the door frame which is good and then in this corner can we place like a hat stand i guess all right let's color this chair so i kind of like cloudy gray i kind of vibe with that i feel like that's modern kind of but also like summer color maybe and then just like a white pillow that's pretty nice maybe we could place like a vase down because if you see over here i have a bunch of flowers from one of my recent builds that i bulldozed so we could like make this a little decoration yeah that would be kind of cute um if you want to place flowers all you have to do is like place one down from garden then get out of build mode and then go over to this flower and then you're gonna pick it and then store it in your inventory and then go to your inventory and then you'll see you have flowers and place them down. Oh, you can actually place multiple. <gasps> I did not know that. You could like stack flowers. Wait, that is actually insane. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I can have wildflowers and sunflowers. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. So this is our little living room. <laughs> it's so small. It's cute though. Like, um, maybe we could place a window. Maybe this window. This is 30 bucks. What? That is so affordable. We might be able to do this. So if we place a window and then maybe a curtain with it. No, that's actually too expensive. We can't do that one. Maybe we could do the plain curtain. Cute. Uh, let's do a material. The plaid is so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. Let's do it with mid-gray. That's kind of cute. All right. So entrance area, living room <laughs> is finished. Let's go to the kitchen. So this is going to be where we spend more money because unfortunately appliances are like so expensive so we'll use the cheapest fridge which is literally 500 bucks that's literally not affordable then we're gonna need the basic stove which will be placed over here as we've seen in my reference photo now let's grab a really affordable basic counter 
which is 100 bucks. So basically, you can like place the stove back slightly. We really don't need to recolor. These items are pretty much colored like modern. They definitely match the build. So you could feel free to place whatever appliances you'd like, except they are, like I said before, kind of expensive. So I might only place like one down, maybe just the toaster, and then maybe just like a cup of utensils for some decoration. And then I could always grab one of my flowers over here. So cute. You can even grab a cabinet if you'd like. So I would recommend using the shaker cabinets. These are affordable. Um, maybe like the one with the shelf. So you could place some appliances. Then maybe like the half one. Do something like this. And then one over here for the fridge. I feel like I'm placing too much. Probably am. I mean, it's cute though. I don't know what we would place here, but realistically I'd place a microwave, but like I don't want to go over budget. So maybe we'll just do a coffee maker and then a cup with it and we will be like pretty good, maybe. It's fine, but we are going to need some light. But I think we can do that once we grab the dining table. So thankfully the dining table we're going to use is the simplicity table. Guys, this is $60. That is such a good steal. Like, come on. So we can just color it like all white like this. Kind of matches the items in the kitchen. And because only like one person is gonna live here maybe two if you want to expand on it we don't really need many chairs so we could just use like the log stool maybe we'll just place like two of them down and then we'll just see where this goes this is cute i love this new like plaid material let's use like cloudy gray with it that's so cute that's actually really cute you know what and then let me grab one of my flowers again this will be our centerpiece i don't know why it's not letting me place these what i think we're gonna need to grab a vase there we go beautiful so the light let's see what will light up like a lot of this area this overtop ceiling lamp is one of those lights that literally just brightens every room like look at this why is it so bright like i'm not complaining that's a great thing so i would recommend using one of these yellows or linen again that's what i usually use so pretty look at this it lights up literally everything we definitely grab maybe like string lights these are cute for the kitchen just to brighten this area and that's pretty much it you know what i think this is pretty good hopefully we could even grab a pink painting over here because paintings are great decorations if you have no idea what to place on your walls which is me like half the time so i'm like you know what paintings when in doubt place paintings on your walls because look at that i mean the painting right now is kind of ugly but like i'll change it to something cute and then it'll look amazing but we are gonna need probably a carpet maybe i'm doing too much though this is probably unnecessary but it adds more and we love detail okay we'll see if we can come back and place something on this wall but for now this area is pretty good like we have all the necessities which is what we're trying to focus on right we don't need to clutter it with decoration although i would love to just place flowers everywhere but we can't do that on a budget house so let's go to this hallway we could basically just grab this like plain door frame again it's fine like you're the only one living in this house right so it's okay just walk right through and here is your bedroom and then bathroom so the cheapest beds are like yeah they're not good this standard single bed is like okay it's like probably the best we're gonna get unless we use like a kid's bed we replace that with a little like side table this is like really tall why is a table taller than the bed i feel like that's not normal never mind i don't like that one maybe the log table it kind of matches like the chairs so yeah we'll do that okay once again we'll just color it like the white maybe we could just do the brown that's nice so the bed what if we use the plaid oh i love this with the cloudy gray so cute white pillow that is cute kind of <laughs> maybe that window from the living room wait is that too much plaid i feel like this is too much plaid um i don't think this is good you know what no i like it i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do this you don't have to do that you can like change the material but i kind of like it like i said before paintings come in clutch with empty wall space and they're also affordable as you can probably guess we're doing this again this time we're gonna take these string lights just for some more light so cute we'd probably place like a candle too or a lamp now that's pretty we're gonna need the dresser over here this one is pretty nice we actually don't have to recolor it which is good maybe we could just place some books some decoration maybe a mirror i don't know if that's gonna be too much we'll go with that for now so one more door frame is gonna be over here for the bathroom so this is our final room i kind of want to place a plant here but like we'll save that we have to get through the bathroom because this is like the second most expensive room behind the kitchen because look at this plumbing items are no joke so we're gonna need the basic shower like my reference i wanted to place it over here but this door frame is gonna be the way so we might have to change it to the side and then the toilet will be over here and the sink will be right here so we're gonna use the tilted pedestal sink very affordable and these really don't need to be recolored except for this shower of course here's the plot again i'm definitely overusing this but it's kind of like a theme in this house 
house. Yeah, so we're just gonna do it. So we're gonna need like soap and a towel and we probably will need some light too. So maybe this like ceiling lamp again and this time we'll place it in the corner so it's away from the shower so no one gets electrocuted. That's good. Also brightens the rest of the kitchen up. See this bathroom just like feels empty. Like I wanna place a window here but everyone gets so mad when I do that. So how about a plant instead? This realistic plant is so nice but we definitely need one over here. This one's not as realistic but it's still very nice. And I think we'll be able to like add some textures maybe to the walls. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll like place one of these kitchen windows right here a nice open like hallway thingy it's kind of cute yeah we pretty much have like everything we need in this house so we could literally stop building right here but i kind of want to add more like i want to add some stuff maybe like some trees outside let's see this tree is like the cheapest so we could do this this circular one <laughs> it looks like the mario 64 trees i love it like right there that's kind of cute that looks nice i like the exterior a lot okay so if we do a floor lamp but we like actually use a table lamp instead that we already used but we pretend it's a floor lamp like let's use our imagination this is a floor lamp it's just like really short yeah you know what why not because we kind of need like that extra light out here and then maybe this like carpet could be placed in the bathroom yeah why not okay so not terrible okay how annoying would i be if i like decided to change the bed and the table i just feel like that works better like when you first walk in like you have more room what if we change the material of these walls to the bricks that we use from the exterior wall trim maybe maybe that would be cool kind of add some extra detail but maybe it's too much with the plaid oh i just realized i forgot the toilet paper <laughs> that's like kind of important we kind of need this yeah you know what we probably need like a trash can too oh my gosh i always forget something like i don't know why i build literally like every day i play blocksburg like every day and yet i literally can never remember to place the necessary items in my builds all right honestly i think this house is pretty set like i think we have everything so we've only spent eight thousand dollars so far so we actually have enough to like add some maybe wall textures so first off, I think we should start with the bathroom. So I love to use these subway tiles for my bathroom materials. They feel like the perfect bathroom texture. Now this bathroom looks a lot more like full. So I don't think we need to place anything more in there. I think we definitely need something on this wall though. So sometimes I'll go to electronics and I will place like a clock because this like takes up a lot of space so we could definitely just do this it's kind of easy we could also place a plant right here maybe we'll like make our own plant if you go to garden you grab this luxurious pot because this is like small then go back to garden and take the evergreen plant and then place it in this pot that's pretty nice just so it doesn't take away from like the dining table too much i think it's good though so i'm sorry we don't have a tv i think a lot of people are gonna get mad some people might not be happy about that so maybe we could place it on this dress dresser instead guys wait this is kind of like smart yes yeah, so you can watch tv while you're like laying in bed wait that actually sounds like so relaxing i would do that but i don't have a tv in front of my bed maybe the kitchen could have its own material similar to the bathroom so like the small rounded tiles these are pretty nice we really don't need to retexture any of the other walls we pretty much have enough like wall decoration on these like the paintings the clock the window so i think these walls are fine especially like this hallway because like the hallway its only purpose is to walk through like you don't really need to decorate it you know bedroom is pretty nice it has lots of like wall decorations so yeah i think that's pretty good so i think this is the final result <laughs> i think this is what our house is gonna look like you know what? it's pretty like good it's pretty detailed for a ten thousand dollar house it has like a lot of you know decorations it has everything you need the kitchen of course the dining table little like living room thingy the bedroom with some nice decorations a tv that's great and then the bathroom of course so it's pretty solid for like a starter house no game pass mood boosting station thingy whatever you want to call it great for any new players great for anyone who needs an affordable house to save money while they work and the exterior just gives me like tropical vibes so i love it so i hope you guys like it as well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe because i upload so many house build videos and tutorials just like this each week so subscribe and you'll never miss another video and i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye